Welcome back guys. In this video we will discuss about some Unix essential commands that you may require while programming. So I will discuss them one by one. And first one I would like to discuss is passwd. So you can change your password whenever you are logged in by using this command passwd. It will ask you for the current password. I will type mine and I will type my new password. And it says password unchanged because I have just typed the same password because I don't want to change my password. Okay, so you that's how you can change your password. And to exit it, just press Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Yeah, there you go. You exit from this. It may be noted that Unix stores passwords in a scrambled form so that even the system administrator can't find out what yours is. If you forget your password, the administrator can give you a new one, but he can't tell you what your old one was. Got it? Whichever password we create, Unix stores it in a file called etc password. We can even get this file etc passwd. Got it? And there, as you can see, these are all the users that uh, my current system is using on my current system sorry these all are the users and I will find mines there you go I find it Gaurav and I will describe each and everything first this is the login name it signifies login name Gaurav X denotes the encrypted password of course it is not visible obviously because so that uh, uh, no one can hack it okay so that's why it is in encrypted form X okay and this is the uh, user ID this is the group ID and this is these are the comments that you may give while creating an account okay and this is the default working directory and this is default working shell these two terms I have already discussed in my slides in I think my first video or second video I don't remember that so go and check that Note that there is another password file present in the bin directory. In fact, this is the one that gets executed when we change the password. Thus, bin password is an executable file which permits changing of the password, whereas etc password contains the data about each password, about each user. Okay, so this is the difference between the two password files. Now comes down to cal. First, I will clear this stuff using the clear command okay uh, wait a second no nothing else now come back to cal command it stands for calendar it is capable of printing calendar for any year in the range 1 to triple 9 Ex inaccurate 9999 okay so it can print calendar for any year in the range 129999 okay so just type cal and the output shows the current date current month and current year as you can see here and moreover one more thing you can use something like this also cal to 1997 so here the 2 here indicates February you can specify with the number also month number and this is of course the year and it will display you the calendar of February 1997 got it you can even use the short terms cal then feb and then any year 2000 and there it is you can use fab you can use numbers for any no, for any month okay now comes down to another command called banner this command prints a message in large letters which looks like a banner so whatever i will type here like the genuine Gaurav and press enter and as you can see the genuine has been appeared if you want that instead of splitting the words in two different lines they should be displayed in the same line then they should be enclosed the 
in inverted commas like it just it is capable of displaying uh, sorry remember that a banner can accommodate only 10 characters in one line okay so that's why these are none these are the 10 characters and they have been only displayed and rest have been discarded in order to print it whole you should do something like this the genuine corrupt and nothing works so you can accommodate only the 10 characters in my shell i don't know about your shell go and try that my shell can only accommodate 10 characters okay so this is this was the banner command now comes down to touch command we had already discussed touch in my previous video let's explore it little further not only does it create empty files but it allows but it also allows you to change the modification and access time of a file i will tell you these terms when you when you run a cat command on a file you are accessing it and when you are making changes in a file you are modifying it whereas when you are preparing a new file afresh you are creating it okay unix keeps track of time set which each of these activities are performed for every single file on the file system touch comes into picture when you want to change these times without really accessing or modifying the files for example i would say something like this touch minus a and then file name suppose i want to uh, change the access time of this file first i will need to go to desktop directory cd desktop no first i will show you the access time of this no so that's how i, sh I go to desktop directory and then i will show you the access time ls minus lu will give you the last access time that you may use okay so unix file system my last access time was june 8 13 10 got it now i want to change the access time of it without really accessing the file so that's how so that's how i can do it touch minus a you in file name then and now again listing ls minus lu is used to see the last access time okay and as you can see the current time 2154 2154 june 8 okay so that's how you can change the access time now comes down to modification time you can use simply use okay so first how how you can see the last modification time just type ls minus l and you will see the last modification time was june 1 1929 unix file system okay so i need to change it just use touch minus m m stands for modification time got it touch minus m and then file name unix again ls minus l and as you can see it has changed to the current time got it now comes down to file command first i will clear this file command okay so suppose you have created a bunch of files and have lost track of what does each file contains you can find out the contents of each by running a cat command on each file hmm you would agree this would be too tedious saying cat star Two would not serve the purpose since there would be too much of output to look at so how do you gonna tackle this situation unix helps you out in such situation it provides us the file command let's try this out file and then star and it says coding programs is a directory and unix file system is a open document presentation and the output the file command recognizes several types of files as uh, can be seen from here okay so it represents that coding program is a directory and this is an open document presentation and if i create one empty file such as touch gaurav and create another file the genuine gaurav 
non empty file i will type hi this is hi you are watching the genuine gorov tutorials and control d and when i again run this file star command it shows me it stands for sky text that is uh, this is a non empty file and it contains some x sky values text okay and it says empty file to gorov got it so this is it for this video we will discuss some more commands we will discuss file related commands and some more commands in my later video hope you like this video please give a thumbs up please rate comment and subscribe and bye bye